Hey guys, how are you? We're doing today a Sephora haul. I know, it's a lot of products. This is basically a collective haul, which means that I didn't get this uh, at the same time. I love every product that I've tried so far, I think. Uh, I just had one that I bought and I returned. Um, I also bought a few things from Beautylish. I'm gonna show those first. And then let's just go into it. I got just three things from Beautylish. And the first one that I'm gonna mention is the Bioderma. This is a makeup remover, a micellar water. I used one of these before, like four months ago, and I loved it. I was waiting to finish another product to repurchase it, but I've been using it for the past three days. I just used it with a cotton pad, and I love it. From Beautylish, I also got Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Celebrity Skin. I don't have any of his products, but I was waiting to get this one, and it's just beautiful. I'm gonna swatch it here for you. It's the one that I'm wearing today. And I, I got it three days ago and I'm obsessed with it. It's my kind of color. The last product that I got from Beautylish was the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. This is a limited edition highlight. I thought it was gonna be bigger than this and I thought it was gonna come in a box, but I guess it doesn't. It comes just like this and it's just a gold highlight. It's really pretty though. I haven't used it on my skin yet, but I feel like it's gonna be beautiful. You know I'm obsessed with highlighters. From Sephora, I also got a few products when they sent a 20% off of the sale. I got this Estilla palette. I already have two of these. I'm just missing the blue one, but I thought it was a good addition to my collection, and since I'm not buying uh, eyeshadow palettes as often, because I think I have enough eyeshadow, um, I thought this one was gonna be pretty because it has purple on it and I don't know I haven't really played with it yet but I know that it's really pigmented and I know that Estilla eyeshadows are really pretty it also came with an eyeliner in the color Tetra and it's a purple eyeliner you can see the color here is almost it's purple with purple sparkles too and then it came with a lip gloss a nude lip gloss and also an all over shimmer which you can mix with your foundation. I haven't used any of these products but I'm, I can't wait to try them. The other product I got on sale was the Vice palette from Urban Decay. This is the Vice 4. I don't have any of the Vice palettes that came out uh, before this one but I have all the naked palettes. This one comes in this little pouch. It's so pretty, right? And then the colors are wonderful. This one is a colorful palette it's so different from the Naked and I love this color right here. I wish they would come out with a Naked Naked 5 or Naked Naked Orange. And this one, I love these two colors. I've already played with those two. I haven't used any of the other shadows. So my favorite colors are Flame, Bitter and Fastball. And the mirror is also great for traveling because you can just take this palette and you can do different looks with it and the mirror is gonna be useful if you don't have any place to do your makeup when you're traveling. And I think these colors are gonna be super pretty in summer and in spring too. Another product that I got from Sephora was the Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD Stick Foundation. This one I got first in the color 127 and then uh, recently I got the color 153 because I know the color 127 is gonna be good when I'm not 10 and the color 153 is gonna be great when I'm a little bit darker. All in all, I'm in love with this foundation. I think it's wonderful. I saw Nikki tutorials using it and I think it's a great foundation. It's great for on the go. It's great to travel with. The packaging is really nice. I know that Bobbi Brown has a similar one and I know that Lancome and a lot of other companies have, have been coming out with similar foundations, but I like this one, I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels. I know that I'm oily, so I have to set it with a powder, but besides that, I think it's a great foundation. That's why I bought the two colors. Another foundation-y product that I got was the Dior Skin Nude BB Cream. This is gonna be great for summer or just for on the go. I use BB creams or tinted moisturizers when I go to the gym. I'm dying to try the new NARS one. But this one is really fair, it's in the color 003 and it has SPF of 10. I don't know, I haven't tried this one yet, but I've heard good things about it. 
I also got the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I was dying to try this one before Carly Bible mentioned this on her channel. This one she was mixing with the Kogendo Aqua Foundation, which I don't have, but I'm, I'm gonna get eventually. This one comes with a dropper. This one is the shade uh, G50. And it's high pigmented. I haven't used it yet, but I know that you can mix it with any foundation, even with a moisturizer to make your own foundation. So this seems like a good product. If I love it, I'm gonna add it to my freelance kit. Quick mention, on my last video, the one that I did my go-to foundation routine, I mentioned the new Becca Luminous Foundation. I returned that foundation. Maybe it will work for you. I have heard people saying that they love it and people saying that they hate it. I'm oily, so I got uh, patches all over and it, my skin would suck it up. So I don't think it's a good foundation for oily skin, but that's just my personal opinion. That I already returned to Sephora, so I don't have it here with me, but I just wanted to update my review on it. So you guys know that I'm a die-hard fan of NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I wanted to try this one. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I bought it in the color Y23. This is supposed to be a full coverage concealer. I don't know if I'm using it the wrong way, but I, it only works for me when I mix it with my Radiant Creamy Concealer. This concealer is really lightweight and it's also creamy and hydrating. So if you have dry under eyes, this one will be good for you. I don't know if you like the coverage. They say to use the color R with the R first to correct and then the color Y to illuminate. So if you're willing to buy two, it's a $29 concealer, then go for it. But I think I will keep using my Radiant Creamy Concealer for a uh, longer time than this one. Another product that I was dying to get was the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This one is a peachy corrector. I got it a few days ago. I'm gonna show it to you. I have used it for the past three days and I don't know if I'm using it wrong, but I'm playing with it, so I will update you guys in how I like it. I like it right now, but I don't love it yet, but I know that everyone raves about it, so I'm sure that I'm gonna love it when I find the trick to use it. Again, the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I got this NARS Press Powder in the color Beach. I wanted a powder to travel with or to carry in my bag, because I already have a lot of loose powders and I love loose powders. I prefer loose powders, but they're really messy if you're gonna take them in your bag. So I bought this one and it's just a regular pressed powder. This is the first time that I'm opening it. NARS is my favorite brand, so it looks super pretty, super yellow and it's great for when I have my fake tan. It's really, I think it's gonna be great to blot with. So I don't know if you guys have tried this powder, let me know in the comments below how you find it to be. From NARS also, I got the Laguna bronzer. This one, I already ran through two of these. In the past, I have a lot of bronzers, but I wanted to get this one just for the sake of it, because I love bronzers. And it's a almost matte bronzer with a sheen. It's not completely matte, but you can actually contour with it. It's really pretty, it's for every day. I don't know, it's just, one of my favorite bronzers, and I'm lucky enough that NARS puts it in every every single blush palette that he makes. I'm gonna show you two palettes that I bought, and I already have Laguna in them, but when I wanna just take it separately, that's why I got this one. While I was watching Amanda Ensign mentioning her 2015 favorites, I saw that she mentioned this again. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in 20, M, which is matte and I've been trying it for the past couple days this one is a bronzer too and the consistency is different than anything I've ever tried before it's really jelly to say a word I don't know it's from gel to powder or something like that it's just a weird consistency but I like it I don't know if it's gonna be my hula bronzer on my Too Faced chocolate soleil but I've been using it for the past five days non-stop so that says something now to my favorite part, which is blushes. I have two palettes and three single blushes. I don't know if you guys know, but my love for makeup since I moved to New York, to this country, began with me walking into Sephora for the first time. And back then my makeup routine would be a powder, 
lip balm, mascara, black lip, black eyeliner, and not even a blush, but a brown eyeshadow, which I would use to contour my nose, do my eyebrows, and as basically just as an eyeshadow. I wouldn't do anything else. So then I saw this NARS orgasm banner with the girl all glowy and beautiful. So I immediately walked to the NARS counter and got a duo, Laguna and Orgasm Blush, and that's when I fell in love with makeup. I would go to YouTube and see every single video about NARS blushes, so I have a extensive collection of those, so I'm gonna show you what I got recently from NARS. This is the NARS Steven Klein Blush Palette. This one I got from Sephora, and it has a Laguna bronzer, a contour duo from NARS, and these four blushes here, they're so pretty. Those are just limited to the palette. They don't sell them individually. Also from the same collection, but this one I got from NARS.com. Look at this packaging, to die for by. This one has just four blushes. This one is almost a highlighter, or I think it's a highlighter. And it comes with a baby Ida brush, which is great if you're traveling and it comes with three blushes, and these are limited to the palette too. So that's what I love about uh, the NARS palettes, because sometimes they come with orgasm, which I already have individually, and if I have more of those, I don't mind, because it's my one of my favorite blushes. But this one is cool, because it comes with four different shades that I, that I can't find individually. Another two blushes from NARS that I'm adding to my collection are the 4063, I'm not gonna butcher the name, but I know that I didn't realize that I already had it in a palette, but who cares? This one, it's a reddish, pinky shade. It's really pretty, and it has like a silver or, or gold flex in it. It's super pretty, it's like mauve or something. I don't know, this one I've used just once and I like it. I like every NARS blush that I have. And another one that I got that I've been wanting for a while, but I, I'm always I'm always getting limited edition things, so I never get it, is Lovejoy from NARS. And this one is so pretty. It doesn't swatch as well as it looks on the cheeks. It's really pigmented. And I know if you pair it up with the Makeup Geek Infatuation Blush, it looks stunning. And lastly, I have this Becca Mineral Blush in Wild Honey. Jacqueline Hill recommended it. And it's a peachy blush, and it's, it's an everyday blush. The Becca blushes are the same as the highlighters, super buttery and blendable. I love them, they're so creamy, and it's a powder, but they're so creamy. And I only have one, it's called Gypsy, and it's a ballerina pink, and they don't sell it anymore, at least not in Sephora. But I love the formulation, so I got the Wild Honey one. I would definitely recommend this one. So that's it guys, uh, that was my haul, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to try any of the products that I show, on camera, on a tutorial or something, give you a first impression, let me know and I will gladly do it for you. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you loved any of the products that I showed or you hate them, please let me know in the comments below so that I can um, have a different perspective. And that's all guys, so I hope to see you soon. I love you, bye. No, it's a lot of products. So let's jump in. Let's jump in. This is great if your skin is um Fuck. I got this Estilla palette. I already have the the colors are wonderful. Why? And I think the... I don't know, I haven't tried this one yet, but... 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 But...
Uh, this one. Uh, uh, uh. I can say subscribe. Subscribe. Ciao. Ciao.